Hi folks, Gail and Brendan here, and we're here to, today to talk about the new feature that the rocket machines have come out with. And first I'll go over, they still have this Cellini with the straight sides, the Giotto, and it's still a heat exchanger machine, but what they've added on is a PID. Um, it comes with all the usual accessories, the double and the single portafilter, uh, brew head brush, blind basket, tamper, scoop, and your manual. And they've added, this is a nice manual, they've added to the, uh, a little uh, insert to the manual describing the PID. So we'll talk about that in a minute. And where you can find that PID is right down here. The folks at Rocket don't want to mess up the, the uh, old world look <laughs> of what this machine has going on. They like to, you know, he, he just likes to keep it a little less uh, in your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's hiding down there. And Brendan's going to go over some of the features of the machine in general, and that will apply to both the Cellini and the Giotto. Yeah, uh, some of the rocket uh, standards that continue on to this V3 line are uh, the copper boiler, which is insulated, and it's a heat exchanger type of boiler. Um, we have the 98-ounce uh, water tank, which is a lot, which is great. That's a swimming pool. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite things about the rocket, which isn't specific to the rocket, but <clears throat> is the E61 brew head and its thermo siphon system um, and how it has the ability to really efficiently heat the brew head. I just, I really like that. Keeps the constant temperature. Exactly. Um, you know, they're hand assembled in Italy. Um, so every single one is just, you know, quality. They hand make them over there too. All the, <laughs> all the components are, are made in Italy. Yeah. As far as I know. Um, and, and just, there's no pressure stat anymore with the PID. It kind of goes in line with the PID. I really like the involvement of the PID just because it's uh, more efficient in terms mm -hmm. of controlling the temp. Yeah, how does it do that versus the heat exchanger? What do you you know how that? Well, the, what makes it more efficient? Well, the PID is um, it's considering more things than just pressure. Mm -hmm. And with the pressure stat before that, I mean that's the only thing it was considering in terms of temperature. Mm -hmm. um, so now you have something that's considering a lot of things to get you to a consistent temp over and over and over again. And it keeps it within one, what, about one degree of whatever you ask it. Exactly. Whereas exactly. with a heat exchanger, a typical heat exchanger, you had a little bit more variation. Exactly. Still much better than a single boiler, mm -hmm. but this just takes it to the next level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So Brendan, let's show the folks how to program that PID. Yes, yes, let's okay. do it. Get the drip tray out here. So there's two arrows on this mm -hmm. and you'll notice the blinking. Mm -hmm. That indicates the uh, boiler, while well, it's blinking, I wanted to explain that. That indicates the boiler going on and off. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps it within that one degree of whatever you ask. The button on the left lets you program the temperature. And once you get into program mode, you can change the temperature to whatever you want it to be. Now it's gone back to the blinking. That means it's back to its uh, normal mode. Now if I hold this one on the right on, I can actually turn the boiler off if I want to. <laughs> And then hit that again. Now it's going back to its normal heating mode and uh, we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. What they do uh, also give you in the, um, with the manual, the, the manual that came with it, they put an insert in for the new machines with the PID. And it'll show uh, PID displayed boiler temperature in centigrade over here. And then uh, it will actually show you in Fahrenheit over here, how it converts, and then it'll show you what the brew head will be displaying. Exactly. So it gives you this handy uh, conversion chart too to go from centigrade to Fahrenheit. Exactly. Yep. So this is this is the boiler temperature, correct? Yes. And then you can what you with this handy chart, you can convert and see what the actual temperature of the brew head brew is. Brew head temperature, and, and that's important. That's, it is. That's where it's all important. Exactly. The temperature of the water hitting the coffee. That's mm -hmm. what you want to mm -hmm. have between that 195 and 204. Yep. And this is this is uh, Celsius as well, and that this will help you convert it to uh, Fahrenheit. Yep. Yeah. So it's, they come with a nice handy conversion chart. Yep. And then when you get done programming it, put your drip tray back in, and you're ready for use. Same features, uh, anti-burn steam arm, but anti-burn means that it's the milk, if you don't wipe it off immediately, is going to uh, not burn on there to a high crunchy crust. Exactly. That doesn't mean that it won't be hot. Mm -hmm. So rockets go on the extra yard and they put on these finger guards for you. Mm -hmm. This one definitely gets pretty hot when mm -hmm. you're dispensing hot water out of it. They are insulated, but they, mm -hmm. they will burn you, especially if you grab it right afterwards. Yeah, exactly. 
it's meant really for you to be able to wipe it off and it, you know, you can wait a couple of minutes. Exactly. So why don't we make a drink? What do you think? I think that sounds great. Cappuccino? Let's do a cappuccino. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, we'll get ready. <laughs> All right, let's make us a cappuccino. Let's do it. Right on the counter, right? That's a good tamp. Get that ready. Can put these guys down there for you. Yep. Tell them to burn you. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, gal. Yeah, right. <laughs> no Bob. I'm here for you. That's one thing we've always heard about the rocket line is the steaming's quite powerful. It is. It's very fast. Mm -hmm. whoop, 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 whoop. No big bubbles there, Brennan. <laughs> Glad I'm not doing it. You're much better at it than I am. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not convinced that this is a great foam today. Oh yeah, that that's hot. Give a little there. squirt here. Oh yeah, gotta purge it first. There you go. Thank you. So, we're not gonna talk about the big bubbles. <laughs> we should have had the shop going. Out of sight, out of mind. We can brew shop, you can brew and steam at the same time with this machine. That looks nice. That does look very nice. And so you're planning on making a, a true cappuccino. Well, <clears throat> here you go. If you want to just put those in there. Perfect. Both of these are both for me. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Anything for you. <laughs> oh. Well, I am going to have a energetic second half of the day here, aren't I? So a true cappuccino, and this this glass is a little bit big, but it's it's a couple of dollops of foam on top. And that's a true cappuccino. If you want a wet cappuccino, you would then add some of the milk. I see. And that's really... That's very... gorgeous. Want to try it? Yes, I do. Good. I'm sold. I'm just going to go for the milk. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gail, that's really good. Is it good? It's very good. Yeah, good. So that's the new line from Rocket. We're really excited. We are. You know, uh, that's one thing that Rocket does. Always improving things. Mm -hmm. Always trying to make it a little bit better. Yep. And I think the, the only real con we have is only for people in the States, and that's just the Celsius display, which Rocket's communicated that that will eventually be solved shortly. Yeah. I think it's mostly a, just a software upgrade. And they, and they, and they, yeah, and they, they got yeah, you covered. Totally. They got you covered. So, yeah. so it's, not, it's not, not even something to really consider. Thanks a lot, Brendan. Thanks for helping me out today. And you guys, if you have any questions, Visit seattlecoffeegear.com or give us a call. We're here to help you out. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Thanks.